hi guys if you want to see how i created this bomb look keep watching don't forget to subscribe let's get right to it as you can see i've already prepped my skin i've already applied my foundation so i'm going to be using the la girl pro concealer in uh, cool tan i'll be using the nyx professional makeup uh, concealer in deep rich These are your cheekbones right here. So you just put it right beneath your cheekbones and in a straight form down towards your chin, towards this corner of your mouth, but not so if you understand what I mean. And these areas of your face, just like halfway into your brows, this way. And then whatever the remains, you can use them. Then the sides of your nose, I like to do this from where my eyebrow stops, just a little bit downwards. drag it down so you don't have that funny obvious look of makeup so yeah this is exactly what I like to do for face lifting and then after blending this you just apply your eye so I'm going to go right to blending you want to start from the outer corner blend gently just like that 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 and then move towards the inner corner So, this one say, this your eyes. So, you can see that it's done. I'll do the same thing here. portion of my mouth then you like to squeeze this to form a very slim if you don't want to use a brush I really don't like to use a brush to blend my um, cream products I just like to use it to apply then use the beauty blender just blend this try not to carry it all the way up this is to make your forehead more obvious and then the black the darker concealer um, in, is to contour and you know reduce the size of the big illusion of the big forehead you have created if you don't naturally have one to kind of control how big it looks so i'll just use the remnant So I'll use the darker portion of this or a cleaner portion to blend this concealer to contour. Then I bring it downwards towards the center but not too much. So you see that now. If you put it all the way down, you now have that very obvious uh, look and demarcations and I, I don't think you want that. So this looks more natural for me and that is how I like my makeup to be, to look really natural. Yeah, so I'm done with that. I will blend this place and we'll make sure I just keep it straight where I applied it. And 
I don't want to bring it all the way down, you know, it gives that, I don't like the way it looks when I do that. Sometimes I like to put um, a concealer that is between the color of the one I used to highlight and then the one I used to contour around the edges then it's easier to blend in but sometimes you can still just blend the edges into you know, and it works like so so after doing this I like to use my cover girl loose setting powder to set this it looks like this I just dab it here to reduce the excess then put it on the these portions which I highlighted blend it in gently you don't want to take too much so it doesn't you know give you that funny look and then when you take pictures it you leave um, you have flashbacks finish setting my face the highlighted portions of my face I have and also the contoured portions I use the my color uh, powder palette in cappuccino right here to set the contoured areas of my face around these portions to cut my cheekbones out and this my jaw and so I'm just going to draw my brows now. Um, and that dry a bit, and while it dries, I'm just going to. I'm drying now, so I'm just going to
face lift it's going out she doesn't really like makeup so for someone who doesn't really want to wear makeup all the time you can check out the video I was going to go in with a softer um, shade. This was the shade I used for my crease, so I'll go in with this shade, which is a bit lighter. The inner corners. And then I'll use this same shade right here. So I like the sometimes just that shimmer. Neverlin Super Stain Matte Ink. I'll be using.